So the All-Star game recently took place and there's a lot of anger. And I think it's clear that the game needs to change and that the players need to be aware of the negative feedback based on their performance. Locked on Bucks podcast host Camille Davis explains why her expectations for the game has already been low and how the new generation of players doesn't care about entertaining the fans and how All-Star Saturday night is the crown jewel of All-Star weekend. I don't go into the All-Star game generally expecting a competitive game. I just don't at this point. It's, it's been too long for me to see and to come in like that's at the point of foolishness to think that it's going to be different, right? And then after the game, you see the comments from like Anthony Edwards where he's like, at the end of the day, it's a break. I don't think anybody wants to come here and compete. It's fun. It's always going to be fun. And hearing him say that made me go, and this is why I view the All-Star game this way. For me, I just want to be entertained. Show me some highlights. Do something crazy that you might not see in a regular season game. Give me some laughs. Give me some oohs and ahs. And that's a success for me. I think like the crowning jewel of All-Star weekend is really All-Star Saturday night. And with that, I think the three-point contest has earned the right to be the grand finale of All-Star Saturday night, especially after seeing the Steph or Sabrina uh, shootout, which was outstanding. Love that. So I think All-Star Saturday night is really like the, the, the key to unlock for All-Star Weekend going forward. And if, they can, if they're open to adding different events, maybe shortening the skills competition, I'm team bring on a one-on-one -on -one, uh, tournament to All-Star Weekend somehow, some way, some shape, some form. Would love to see that. But all in all, the All-Star game itself, just show me something cool and impressive. Give me some laughs and I'm going to be, I'm, I'll take that. Bo Estes has extensively covered the NBA, and he is the voice of NBA's top 10 on NBA TV, and he states he hopes the media criticism will motivate the players to play harder in the All-Star game. It was rough, man. I'm not going to lie to you. I work, I work, you know, covering the league and everything like that. And it's not what anybody wanted to see. And I think, you know, you don't need to hear me saying this. You saw how Adam Silver delivered the trophy after the game to Giannis's team. He was, the man was clearly disappointed. Everybody tried to push these players into caring more. And the bottom line is if they don't care more, you can't force them to play harder. There's nothing you can do. You can't force them. So if they're not going to play harder, what do you do? I think, you know, look, I hope may maybe this social media thing uh, can hit their pride a little bit and they'll care a little bit more. Today, I just went back uh, and looked at a couple minutes of the 1988 All-Star game. I just randomly picked a year in my head and I did, I did one of the scrolls. And I'll stop here. I'm going to watch two minutes. And it's a basketball game. It looks like a basketball game. It feels like a basketball game. There are block shots. There are fouls. Everything's happening. No buckets are free. Nothing's easy. There are steals. Uh, and this is in two minutes of action. Uh, it's not that anymore. It's just he's taking a couple steps towards the basket, get out of the way, let him do a fancy dunk. Um, where the rubber meets the road is if fans in the next couple of years are like, it's not worth paying that money to go to the All-Star game because it's a ripoff. They don't try. And then if that impacts the NBA's bottom line, then the salary cap comes down and then folks' salaries start coming down. And, and you know, we all know that this media deal is going to be a good one. The next one, that's why, you know, Mark Cuban talked about that's why he so is selling the Mavericks and sold the Mavericks is because he saw the writing on the wall. I think when the players start to realize that maybe they perform better, but maybe they just don't. Unfortunately, the bad news for NBA hardcore basketball fans is that the All-Star game had an amazing rating with 11.6 million unique viewers across all their platforms, up 20% from last year. And the game averaged 5.5 million viewers, up 14% versus last year. Bo explains why it's important for the All-Stars to honor the game by putting in a lot more effort on NBA All-Star Sunday night. Well, I think it's important that it continues. And I think... Um... I don't know. I think behind the scenes, the league will communicate in no uncertain terms to the players that it's not just us that are hurt by a diminished all star game. It's you, the players, that really take a beating for this. Uh, and if you don't get it together, and the other thing is, like, why would you want to let somebody else beat you? I mean, would Kobe have done that? Kobe would never have done that. No chance. Never in a million years. So, where's the pride? Where's the prime? Where's, you know, forget Kobe. Michael Jordan would have lost his mind. Uh, so, you know, like you can, you can take it back to people who are just much more competitive. And maybe 
you know, I, I don't know, maybe there's a, a larger, you know, issue here, but I, the one thing I hate seeing is people say it's generational, you know, like this is a generation that doesn't care. I really worry about saying something like that because these players have worked hard to develop these skills. So they cared at some point. And I think they can care again. I just think it's important that they learn to care in this instance. I think it's really important uh, to, to honor the tradition that those players that made this success they have very, very possible. Mm -hmm.